Hello, Floss Tube. Welcome to Daisy Caves Primitives. My name is Christy, and this is my channel where I talk about things that I like to create, my hobbies, but primarily cross stitch. Today is October 27th, 2022, and this is video number 39. So, welcome. Welcome, everyone. Um, I have lots to share again today. We are going to talk about what's in this basket today. Lots of things. First thing we'll talk about are FFOs. Let me see here. Last time I talked about, I wanted to do some um, stitching for Thanksgiving and wanted to, let's see, gotta get all my stuff gathered up here organized better. Um, wanted to stitch some turkeys and I talked about this one. This is a prairie schooler. It is out of the spring and fall book number 90 and I stitched this on 36 count prairie grass linen by Seraphim Fabrics and I used DMC floss and I love how he turned out. The modeling in this piece of fabric was just really perfect. It looks kind of ripply, but I really love how he turned out. This frame is from, let's see, The Rusty Roof on Etsy. I really like these frames. They're nice, well made. Um, this is their distressed frame, and when you get it, it's sanded down these lighter edges here they, that look darker were sanded down to the bare wood and then I took my wax and uh, actually brown shoe polish and went over those bare wood areas to darken that up and distress it a little bit more to my likings so he is a start and a fully finish. A Sappho, I guess. This is Pumpkin Harvest by Sub Rosa. I shared it last time that I was almost done. Um, so I got it finished. I just had this little corner here to finish up stitching. And I did that and I put it in this frame that I found from Hobby Lobby or Michaels some time ago. It was a uh, plain raw wood frame and I painted it black and sanded it and then used the black shoe polish wax to distress the edges. So that was a fully finish and I've been enjoying it sitting right back here. These two little stitches I stitched last year, about this time last year. And these are called Trick or Treat two witch pin keeps and they are from the humble stitcher that has she has a, an Etsy shop and these are a PDF download so I stitched these last year on 36 count bunny mom from XJU designs and let's see I pretty much stuck true to chart this one this one's all as charted. This one I changed the color of her hair. It's kind of hard to see. I made her have blonde hair and I messed up, made her bodice a little bit longer, but they look fine together. <clears throat> I backed them with this fabric and then I used this um, purple paper mountain trim. I love their trims. They're so petite and lots of unusual styles, but they're not, they don't overwhelm these small projects. Um, I still like my primitive style, but you know, adding a little bit of this kind of trim, a small trim that's not overbearing, just kind of um, adds a little bit to them, a little more interest. And then I added these little stick pins and this one. I added a charm 
it doesn't want to lay really nicely yet, but um, I added a charm, kind of stuck the pin through, and then stuck it on the charm on the pin, and then buried the tip of the pin in the pillow. But oh, so they're still wanting to jump around. <laughs> so these were more fully finishes, and I think they are just adorable. This is a new shirt. And this morning, as I was getting dressed, you know these things, these little ribbons that they they attach inside your shirt to kind of help keep them on the on the hanger. I hate those things. <laughs> I end up clipping them off, and I thought, you know what? This one's kind of a silky satiny ribbon. I can use that for finishing somehow or another. Like I could maybe tie a little bow and add it. So the next time you buy a shirt, and if you don't like these things, hang on to them. They can serve double duty purpose. I have been thinking about for some time, making my own project bags. Um, I love how pretty they are, and it's just kind of fun to match up fabrics and kind of dream up what, what pretty combinations you can come up with. So I followed I followed Suzette, the Primitive Stitchers video tutorial, and I made this bag. These are, I believe these are Joe Morton fabrics. I don't remember now which line, but my turkeys have been roosting inside this bag and I just um, lined it with some Osnaberg that I've had. Um, I used to make dolls and I would use that making them. And I just, I had the extra laying around so I thought might as well use it. And I like the lighter color inside the bag so you can see what you have in there. And uh, so that's how that turned out. I need to work on my zippers. This is not, real great but it works and I embellished this one with another um, brooch pen this is a different style you can see here it's got the little jump rings attached to the edge of the pen and um, I just added some charms that I had and then pinned it on to the bag and I think it just kind of adds a, a cute little bling to the bag so that was something that I did. I think that's pretty. I love Joe Morton fabrics. And then this one, this one I followed um, Celeste of Celeste Creates, her bag tutorial on her floss tube. And I created this. And I don't remember I don't remember the makers, designers of these fabrics, but it has holly and then all the trees and the little buckets or pots. And this one, I added the little pennies on the front. I wish now that I would have mounted these on, a, on another penny or circle, a larger one underneath, but I didn't, I just, Wanted something extra on them, and I love wool applique. Then I added a little, a little penny here on a lobster claw and attached it to the zipper pull. And I lined this one also with the um, Osnaberg. That way I'm not using my pretty fancy fabrics for the inside of my bag, which I won't see that much. Um, so I thought I would just use that stuff up. So, now I'm hooked on making bags. So, thank you to those ladies, everyone. I've looked, I've watched several other videos, but the ones that I, I really focus on and, and chose to watch were Suzette, the Primitive Stitcher, and Celeste of Celeste Creates, um, their tutorials. And thank you, ladies, for, for showing us how to make these pretty bags. So, let's talk about whips now. Um, uh, mornings, I like to stitch on black sampler. I'm working on 
getting enough samplers completed to assemble a black sampler wall, and I'm getting closer to doing that. The sampler I'm currently stitching is Sarah Comfort 1810 by Queenstown, Queenstown Sampler Designs. This is such a really interesting, pretty uh, chart sampler. I really like, I just like the layout. It's more interesting. Um, this is a reproduction Quaker sample, sampler. I am stitching this on 36 count pearl barley by Lakeside and this is where I am. I've gotten quite a bit done on this. I have taken the liberty at times to stitch a little bit more. Well, maybe we'll get this to where you can see it. I wanted to work my way down here to start working on the over one lettering. So there's, there's not a lot, but enough over one. This whole alphabet line is over one wording here inside the cartouche and here. And then I think these are satin stitches all at the bottom. But I'm making progress and I'm loving it. I really love it. These are the ones I'm using. Gunmetal, Weeks Gunmetal and Coal. Those are my extras for futures. So these are the two that I'm using for stitching Sarah Comfort and I just kind of switch them off. Wherever I decide I want something darker, I'll use this one. And if I decide I want to lighten it up, I'll use gunmetal. So those are the two that I am using to stitch that. And now that I'm down, this really stitched up pretty quickly until now getting down to the over one that's slowing me down a little bit and I um, found using a hoop I stitch in hand normally but using a hoop has really helped me with um, the tension on my fabric to do the over one and it my stitches look so much nicer using the other one that I stitched a little bit on not a whole lot was When Witches Go Riding by Prairie Schooler. This one right here. I'm down to here working on the witch and the pumpkins. Someday I will do these. I'm stitching this on a piece of 36 count XJU's Bunny Mom also. And I got a lot more of the witch done and got these pumpkins started working on the grass. I, I, didn't, I didn't think that I would have this complete for Halloween and I really wasn't pushing to try to get that done. Um, I just really wanted to get a nice, a nice start and I've done that. I'm pleased with my progress where I am now. So, um, I may work on this some more today, just till the end of October and uh, get a little bit further along so that I won't have as much to do next year when I pull it out. I'm ready to stitch on it then. And I am using all of the called for DMC on that one. And I stitched a little bit more on Turkey Hollow Farm by Stacy Nash in another Sherry So Sweet bag. I really love this. Fall. Fallish, yet these kind of remind me more of like September, end of August, September. So this one is on uh, 36 count. Look at my label here. 36 count Sand Dunes by Seraphim. And I got quite a bit more done on this one. Just about have the house all finished. Worked on the pumpkin field over here. I 
put the tail feathers on this turkey. They weren't charted on my, on my chart, so I just kind of looked at the photograph and stitched those in. I stitched this. I think these are supposed to be like corn stalks. This is a rooster, I believe, and I'm just now starting on the man's hat. So I think the fence is all done too. Yeah, I have the fence totally finished. Yep. This one's really been fun. And I've gotten a lot more done on it than I thought. I will not finish it. I may I may continue stitching on it into November. Just kind of depends. Um, I'm really having a hard time not jumping off and doing a lot of Christmas stitching yet. I want to, but I still want to get, there's still a lot of Thanksgiving things that I would like to, to stitch. Um, we'll see. But let's talk about some plans. So November, I definitely want to, um, work on some more Thanksgiving things. I do have one more turkey pattern and I don't have the cover photo, but it's that design. It is a Country Rustic Primitives Jenny Hoffman Give Thanks Pillow Tuck. If I can remember, I may insert a picture here as to what that little tuck will look like. It won't take me long to stitch that. I've, I've made several of those in the past and sold them as completed pieces. Um, but this is, I'm, I'm me stitching now. I'm not stitching for everybody else anymore. So I never did keep one for myself. So I want that. That will be a November stitch. And I really would like to do this one. Sub roses, thankful, thankful, grateful, blessed. It looks like a sweet little pillow tuck. I really love the style that she does of her pumpkins. So that won't take long and it will definitely be a little more Thanksgiving geared. And um, I don't know if I'll put it in, make it as a pillow or if I'll frame it. Kind of just depends how that works out. It may get framed. So that I definitely want to do in November. I pulled out some and I'm going to try not to take them out of the bags that are Christmas related that I know I want to start or want to work on and get finished, hopefully as much as I can. So this one's called S Claus and it is by Not Forgotten Farm. And it's called a hanging stuffed scissors holder. I won't make it a scissor holder. I'll probably just use it as a hanging pillow. This is kind of hard to see. It's not a really great photo, but you kind of get the gist. I've wanted to stitch this for a long time. Um, last video, I shared that I started um, Jingle Bells by, yeah, Jingle Bells by Brenda Gervais. So I will work more on that one because I want that one finished, but I will, I want to start this one. Um, I do want to start Pineberry Lane's Merry Christmas Hanging Sampler. I think this will just end up being a little pillow tuck. But that one, I do, I want to get started on it. Will I get it fully finished? I don't know, but at least start it. And another Not Forgotten Farm, Merry Maker. It is a pillow tuck, and I probably will do that also. Got a Santa and some sheep. Another one that I would like to start. Will I get it finished? I don't know. Stacy Nash, Winter Tidings, Pin Keep. I've loved this for a long time, and I've had it quite a while. Um, what I really like about this is the wonky lady. I love funky, wonky people. And I love her sled that she's pulling with the little lantern and the holly. I really like, I like holly. I don't know what it is about it. So that's a good chance for a start on that one. Then this is Threadwork Primitives Piece B. 
be unto us. And this was a gift from a friend with the, the, uh, the flosses. Thank you. So I do want to start that. That won't take long. I don't have a lot of Christmas samplers. That's just really pretty and fairly, fairly simple. I love that. I love how simple that is. So that one will get started. And then let's see, I have some odds and ends, little freebies that I don't have photos. This is another one that I've wanted to do for quite a while. This is Ho 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 by Not Forgotten Farm. I like that tree. Just so cute, very primitive. Not Forgotten Farm. Thank you, friend. And then I just have a few small, little small, um, like Pinterest freebies that I found. So those are some future, future November into December stitching plans. So those will hopefully be some new starts that you might look, you might see next, next video. Maybe a turkey or two, I don't know. If you've hung in here and you're still with me, thank you. Question of the day is, I'm looking for pilgrim charts. I would, I'd like some more Thanksgiving related um, smalls. So if you know of any cute, preferably primitive, but I can change them up if they're not exactly my style of prim. Um, I can make some adjustments to them, but I'd like if you have any suggestions for pilgrim charts patterns, I would appreciate if you would leave me a comment. All right, that's all I have. Thank you so much for stopping in and visiting with me and listening to me ramble and let me show you what I've been up, up to and what I'm going to try to be doing in the future. And let's see, tomorrow, Saturday. Saturday I'm having a girls um, crafting make and take. I'm gonna make some taco soup. Also, if you have a good taco soup recipe, I'm in the market for finding a few. Um, a good friend gave me gave me a good recipe that I'm going to try, so um, I'm going to do that. And tomorrow I'm going to bake some banana bread and do some cleaning on the house, get things ready. I have all of the supplies ready for the make and take, the craft, and uh, maybe next time, next video, I'll share with you what we did. And um, do we have Halloween out where we are? We don't have many trick. We don't have any trick or treaters, so. I kind of missed that. Thank you again. Take care and I will see you next time.